RadicalPrep.com. Hey, how's it going, everybody? We're doing question 15 here from the free PDF test, and it goes like this. If x is greater than x squared, and that's greater than x cubed, which of the following statements must be true? And I would say 99% of the people trying to do this question are just going to, you know, pick a number and plug in. And actually, I agree with that. That's, that's you know, fine, totally good. So let's try that. If we pick x equals 2, what happens when we square it and when we cube it? Uh, I'll write it out real quick, but you should know right off the bat that the numbers are getting bigger, right? Do we want the numbers to get bigger? Well, actually, no, because this is the biggest number, because we said x is greater than x squared, and that's the smallest one. So picking a number like 2 doesn't really work out because the numbers are getting bigger. What about if we pick a number like 3? Well, I mean, we can do it out real quick, but just to... Um, speed things along here you get 9 and 27 again the numbers are getting bigger we want the numbers to get smaller so it doesn't really matter if it's even or odd so at this point I'm going to ask you are we looking for an integer probably not we're probably looking for something that's a fraction because it's good to know how fractions behave well when you square a fraction like let's say one half what happens does it get bigger or smaller a half times a half is a fourth right and what happens when you cube it? Half times a half times a half, we get an eighth here. So what happens? The numbers are actually getting smaller. That's a good thing. So we want our answer actually to be a fraction, something less than one. And I'm going to pick E right here. It's the correct answer. We want a positive fraction less than one. Let's just look at the ones that uh, weren't right. Uh, a fraction greater than one. Well, what happens when you plug in something uh, a fraction greater than one, like five fourths. Well, when you square it and you do five fourths squared, we can show it real quick. What do you get? Twenty five sixteenths. And if you punch it into the calculator, that number is actually just getting bigger. And, and that should make sense. Numbers greater than one get bigger when you square them and cube them and you know put them to the fourth power. A negative fraction. Well, what we can do is here, and let me just put the eraser on, but I can. Um, if we pick a negative fraction, let's not even pick a number, let's actually just put in the signs. So if you've got a negative number, what happens when you square it? Well, it turns positive. All right? And actually what happens when you cube it? It goes back to negative here. So this wouldn't x is greater than x squared, a negative number is not bigger than a positive number. So we got to get rid of that. So I hope that explanation wasn't too roundabout. I just kind of wanted to go through all the different ways that you could plug things in here. But keep in mind, if you want to save time or save time on the SAT, be aware uh, the behavior of fractions, how they behave when you square them, cube them, and so on. All right, guys, I hope that helped. Um, if you have any more questions, visit my site, RadicalPrep.com.